Okay, so this question, uh, well, first thing I want to say is that I know this is a bit small. Uh, I, I'm going to zoom in, but as you'll see, zooming in does make it l a little harder to read. So I'm sorry about that, but I think it is worth having it big because we're going to need to see this graph, even though it makes the text a little bit harder to read. So uh, what it says is the scatter diagram gives information about the temperatures at eight different heights up a mountain. At a height of 1,000 meters, the temperature is minus 13 degrees Celsius. Plot this information on the scatter diagram. So just to, just to quickly mention uh, what, how this scatter diagram works, uh, if I pick uh, this point, that tells us that at 900 meters, so if we go across this axis, which we can see is height, at 900 meters, the temperature was minus 12. So that's how the graph works. Each, each, of, these plot, each of these crosses is the temperature at a certain height. Uh, now, we are told that at 1,000 meters, which is here, the temperature is minus 13. So we plot this down to minus 10, minus 11, minus 12, minus 13. You want to be really precise, really accurate, put it right where the lines cross, because it's exactly 13. That was good to me. Next, we have to draw a line of best fit. Now, this is tricky. Um, there are um, rules that people have in their head that aren't necessarily true. So for example, some people think it has to go through zero, um, and they might mean that, or they might mean this. Um, but neither one is true. Uh, it does not have to go through zero. It doesn't have to for a scatter diagram. All it has to do is represent the data as best you think. So I reckon maybe like that, or maybe a little bit lower, or about there, it looks fine. And it doesn't have to be perfect, like they don't say on the mark scheme, it must be um, exactly this angle and exactly, the, it's not like that, but just do your best to try and make a line that represents the data. Maybe let me scroll up a little bit. Oh, hard, hard to tell, something like that, yeah. And that's my line of best fit. Now part C says use the line of best fit, use the line we just drew to estimate the difference between the temperature at a height of 550 uh, so 550, which is here, and 950. So a little bit awkward because both of those heights are between squares, but that's okay. So uh, between uh, the difference in the temperatures at 550 and 950. So we obviously need to know the temperatures at 550. So we're going to need to know 550, we're going to need to know 950. Now at 550, I think that crosses this line, which is minus 6. Let me just check that again. So 550 down to my line, and when I go across, I think that's pretty bang on minus six. And at 950, if I go down, see that's kind of halfway between two squares, so I am going to say it's something 0.5. Um, so I'm saying it's about here, which might be hard for you to see on your phone, computer, whatever. And if I go across, that was here, which is minus 11 and a half, minus 11.5. Um, because here is minus 11, here's minus 12, and we're halfway between minus 11 and minus 12. Uh, now, as always, the stuff I'm writing is only um, is only what is it, it's only for your benefit. Like the examiner doesn't see that, so we need to write things in our working box that we do want the examiner to see. So I am going to say that at 500, um, it was minus six. Mm. And at 950, it was minus 11.5. Now, the question says use the line of effort to estimate the difference between the temperature. So we're going to find the difference between those two numbers. Um, how's best to do that? I think I'm going to just use a number line. I don't know if the calculator would be particularly helpful here. So a quick number line over here. Uh, we've got 0 up here, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8, minus 9, minus 10, minus 11. Well, right at the end, that's minus 12, that's minus 11, and we are here. Ah, oh, do you know what? Sorry, that's too scrunched up, isn't it? Let me, let me do that a bit bigger. That's no good. Sorry, let me try again. A little bit bigger, uh, and let's start at like minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8, minus 9, minus 10, minus 11, minus 12. And we're, we're trying to find the difference between minus 6 and minus 11.5. So that's a difference of one, two, three, four, five and a half. So the difference between them is five and a half. So I'm just gonna put difference, get away. 
difference is 5.5, uh, and there you have it. So the difference between them is 5.5 degrees, um, and that's it. So we had to read off the graph, um, do a bit of plotting, but that's how scatter diagrams work. Hope that helped. On to the next one.